Here we have Campo site number one. Cinder block walls, which are still, still somewhat remaining. Cement foundation with some cement pillars. And that's the 94 right there, the 94 highway in the background. I'm guessing that the pillars in the front were used to hold uh, or support some additional part of the structure, which is no longer remaining. We'll come back to this area in a moment. Here we have kind of gas lines some gas piping that was obviously coming right out, obviously coming right out of the ground in the middle of this room with uh, the on and off controls dial right there. So I don't think it was an appliance that was hooked up to this gas line here, built into the middle of the floor of this room. There have been stories of gassings, and I'm sure that that those, uh, extension there speaks to that room in the back. Out this way, we have some sort of deck or patio area still somewhat partially standing okay I mean this is metal piping going through these concrete these cement or concrete posts this wasn't made by any rancher or individual Right, this is government, military grade construction going on here. And over here is the large oak tree that happens to have a giant iron hook. Has been right here. Mostly grown over now, but that is a thick, sturdy iron hook coming out of this tree, which happens to be next to a Nazi torture facility. Not well. When there's gas line piping, that's just extending out of the floor. Again, that, as you can see here, maybe I can zoom in. This isn't for an appliance. This isn't somebody's home, all right? That was used for something else, something to gas people with. <laughs> 